Hello everyone. Uh, picking up Fallen Angel again. Um, unfortunately, something happened with my recording software. Um, I, I, I was recording part five. I got about 40 minutes into it and my recording software crashed and it corrupted the, uh, the video file. So I guess I need to do this section over again. So I'm, I don't know, I, I have to um, refresh my memory what, what, where we were, what was happening. Um, just a second here, uh, judging by the dates. That, like, um, as I recall, in, uh, that uh, Sire is in the hospital, uh, attempted suicide, it's in a coma, um, and um, <laughs> MC Brock in the, the kimono. Um, and uh, oh yeah, and uh, Tor Yuri, the, the the little cherry blossom tree. Um, <laughs> so silly. Um, what else? Uh, oh yeah, there were implied sexy times. I, I I'm getting it mixed up of like what happened in the, the part that I just attempted to record and the part that um, I don't know. Just I'm just gonna load and go ahead, get into it and figure it out as I go along. <clears throat> I don't remember anything of the last few days. They flew by as school beckoned around the corner, and I'm here, back in the boring lectures of my classes. I still don't see a point of school. I can just go to, go to I can just go to go to school to be an art major. Then I'll have a line of jobs waiting me. Right? <laughs> uh MC's in for a rude awakening someday. <laughs> uh this starving artist lifestyle. Um yeah. Our, our society has a weird relationship with art and artists, like, um, something I, 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 I've witnessed time and time again, you know, moderating the, the, um, uh, DDLC modern community that, that, uh, um, like everyone really loves art, like, whoa, this one has new art, that's amazing, but, uh, there are a lot of people who just don't care about the artists and will, like, steal art or not credit it or, or whatever, um, and it's like they really like the art but they just kind of shit all over the artists and it's like that kind of sucks and it's, it's weird but anyway <laughs> yeah um yeah well, i guess uh, i'm saying only become an art major if you really enjoy making art because you're probably not going to get make a lot of money on it because anyway moving on <laughs> i guess it's not too bad however it's refreshing to see my classmates to happily chit-chat about their vacation. Meanwhile, the teacher attempts to obtain everyone's attention. She fails to do so as the bell for lunch is about to re ring. These last five minutes go by agonizingly slow. I shove my homework into my backpack. Homework on the first day back. I'd rather be in prison. I turn my pen in my hand and I can't help but overhear the conversation next to me. I'm not purposely being nosy. They're just talking quite loudly. I don't understand why girls can't use their indoor voices. <laughs> there you are picking on girls again. Looks like one girl is showing the other a message on her phone. I don't think it's real. Are you saying you don't think she would do something like that? It makes total sense. It's really weird, but I guess it does make sense. And she wonders why people don't like her. Sounds like more girl drama. I always found it weird how girls talk about other girls behind their backs. Sound of the gates of heaven being opened. I get up from my seat and go to lunch. <clears throat> it's a nice day, so I choose to eat outside. Unfortunately, Yuri and I don't share the same lunch, so I resort to sitting by myself. This, this this line confuses me. Don't share the same lunch. Do like do students have lunches at different times at this school, or are they in different buildings or something? What I don't know. I go ahead and sit under the large tree in the courtyard. <laughs> makes me think of Toriyori. <laughs> I don't know why that makes me laugh. <clears throat> Plug in my earphones, listen to music. Over the last few days, I spent some time compiling my favorite songs to make the ultimate music playlist. A collage of all my favorite songs. This list is truly the pinnacle of music. Press play. Skip. 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 While I'm looking for a song, a shadow appears over me. Take out my headphones and look at the culprit. Hey, it's not ski. Hey. It's for horses. Are you going to start every conversation we have like that? <laughs> it's been a while since not ski and I last talked. Last time we saw each other was in the hospital. Care to take a seat? Eh, if I have to. Never said she had to, but she takes a seat on the bench anyway. She pulls out a sandwich from her bag and begins eating. I start to eat for my lunch as well. I just start a conversation. What should we talk about? And here I would normally save it, but I did this before and I already saved it there, so I'm not gonna bother. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, the first thing I would want, I would want to know about Sayuri, I, I would think. 
Have you got any news from the hospital? She pauses and then she then sullenly shakes her head. No. I told him to keep me updated if anything happens. And yet I haven't heard anything. I'm gonna lump in my chest. I know it's not good to get my hopes up, but I can't help but pray that Sairi wakes up. I can't tell my question left a thickness in the air. Perhaps we'll change the topic. And ask about where she's living, because she was living with Sairi, so like what's happening now? Take a look at the sandwich she's eating. Where'd you get that? Home. Or Sairi's home, I should say. There's a short, awkward pause, long enough for me to ask another question. So you're taking care of the house, I suppose? Yeah. Your parents can't schedule a flight until next month. Next month? Next month? To see their daughter who's in a coma? Oops. Mm. <clears throat> Must be really struggling. <clears throat> Suddenly my food tastes bitter. <laughs> Not even Cyrus' own parents can be here for her. How hard can it possibly be to schedule a flight to see your daughter? I decided to ask a more personal question. What about your dad? She stops bringing her food towards her mouth, lips partly open. What about him? Is he doing alright? She stares hard at her sandwich as if it holds the answer to my question. He's fine. I guess that's all there is to it. He's still broke. The way she's so upfront with that statement baffles me. <sighs> it's whatever. It's not like a care or anything. Once again, her guard is back up. That's probably all the info I'm going to get from that topic. And talk about school. How's it like being back? Yeah, it's alright. Miss being able to sleep in, however. Haha. <laughs> Give a small chuckle. What about you? No, I've been good. Thanks you for asking. Don't thank me. It was asking me polite. I don't think I actually care about anything. Oh, actually, with one L, should be two. That wasn't very polite. I continue to humor Natsuki's fake rudeness. My math class is killing me. The mention of math, Natsuki begins to go full on rant mode. Ah, don't get me started. He starts anyway. I don't understand how they expect us to understand any of this. It's like learning a whole new language. Since when did math become more letters and numbers? And what the hell even is trigonometry? It makes absolutely no sense. Find X my ass. How about you find a subject worth teaching? After basic algebra, everything else is useless. Oh, and imaginary numbers. Those aren't even real. They think it's okay to just to make up stuff. Wait, sorry. They think it's okay to just yeah just make up stuff. They follow such strict rules and then go and add other rules if something doesn't work properly. Seriously, why do math classes even exist? We have calculators for a reason. Teachers ask like my life will be dependent on whether I can find a parallel line given a slope and a point. <sighs> Nowski huffs in frustration. It's a bit funny seeing her get the, get flustered over something like math. She continues to eat her sandwich. <laughs> Did that? Hang on. Yeah okay. <laughs> I finish up what's left of my lunch. Excuse me. What is wrong with you? What? You're disgusting. I said, excuse me. Were you ever taught not to not burp in front of a lady? Since when were you a lady? Mm -hmm. Natsuki looks like she's about to bur burst from rage. But then she lets out a long sigh and a smile creeps on her face. Fine. You win this one. Then there's got to be a co competition with you, huh? Yep. Also, Tarmies, what are you and Tor Yuri doing for the festival? I don't know. Probably just walk around and stuff. It would be fine if I... Uh, Natsuki fumbles with her words. Spent the festival with you and Yuri? She mumbles the words quickly and quietly. Yeah, that sounds like fun. Ah, Alright, I would have, wouldn't have cared if you said no or whatever. Sure, Natsuki. <laughs> I decided to walk Natsuki to her class once the lunch bell rang. She called me a stalker, but besides that didn't protest to me walking with her. Hey, you see that? What? I stop in front of the main office. I point to a small rectangular box on the wall. It's the school thermostat. I walk up to it. 75 degrees? They do have the AC off, I'm presuming that's Fahrenheit. <laughs> We're in winter, why would the school turn the a AC on? <laughs> um. Ah, no one understands. Is are these are these AC references a ref like is it a reference to something that I'm not getting? <laughs> Probably. This this mod seems to have a lot of reference pop references that I'm, I'm not getting. <laughs> pop culture references. Anyway, I'm in my next class, English. I genuinely despise English class. I already speak it. Why do I have to take a class on it? Teacher lectures on the proper way to use a semicolon. In the seat in front of the seat right of mine, a boy is on his phone checking messages. The text is too small to read, but I can tell it's a very long message. He must have gotten in trouble with his girlfriend or something. This time was a laugh. Hmm. Maybe my previous accusation was wrong. I wonder what the message is about. Dormuse. Teacher calls my name. Uh-oh. Do you know the answer to the question? Uh, I don't even know what the question we're on. This is how I die, isn't it? I suppose there's no harm in guessing. B. Students hold in their laughter. 
what? The question is a fill in the blank. Oof. All right, Travis, think of something. I'm sorry, I thought it was a trick question. Leisure looks at me with a blank face. I wonder what my tombstone will read. Died of embarrassment. Just when I think the teacher is going to kill me, he breaks into a laugh. <laughs> All right, Stacy, do you have the answer? Phew, I can't believe that worked. I go back to daydreaming. Bzz, I glance at the teacher and see he's writing something on the board. I sneakily pull my phone out of my pocket. Welcome back. Uh-oh. <laughs> this is the mysterious texture again. <laughs> Welcome back to quiet school. This person is a student? I look around the class. No one looks suspicious. I tried to warn you that it would come to this. Come to what? I look up and see the teacher with his back turned. I use this time to type out a message. Who are you and what are you talking about? I gave you the chance to stop, but you didn't listen. You broke my heart. Now I'm going to break something of yours. Overdramatic much? What does that even mean? So, um... Yeah, I, I previously said, um, like, my first guess about who the mysterious text would be would be Monica. <clears throat> um, I put Sairi out there as a possibility, although she's in a coma now, so probably not. <clears throat> I mean, unless... I mean, unless the doctors at the hospital just didn't tell Natsuki that she's out of the coma, which really, they, they don't really have any reason to tell her, do they? I mean, it's not like she's family or anything. <clears throat> <clears throat> but I don't know. Anyway, moving on. The ring of the school bell shocks me out of my thought process. I shove my phone back in my pocket and try to forget this ever happened. <clears throat> it's been a long day, but I'm home. Did I even see Yuri today? I should at least text her. Pick up my phone and send a message. Sorry, I didn't see you today. How was school? Z Fine, thank you for asking. I saw Natsuki today. What did she say? We just talked about different things, and then she asked if she could hang out with us during the festival. I told her she could. <laughs> hey, hang out. Did you use Did you use the H word? <laughs> right after Right after Sayuri hung her, or hanged herself. Ah, MC. <laughs> okay, I guess the conversation ends there. I lay down and look at the ceiling. For first day back, it wasn't so bad. Perhaps this semester will actually go smooth. S smoothie? Wait, back that up. I think I was supposed to say smoothly with an L. A few days later. Yeah, no kidding. It says smoothie. <clears throat> you want to put some fruit into a blender and make a smoothie. Beep, beep, beep. Ah, I swiped his mess on my phone alarm. Sunlight creeps through my blinds and fills the room. I use my last reserves of willpower to climb out of bed. <clears throat> Wait a minute. Today's the festival. Remembering that all of a sudden gives me a burst of energy. Today shall be a fantastic day. <clears throat> With a clean school uniform and freshly brushed teeth, I start to make breakfast. I place two Pop-Tarts in the toaster. I begin to think of all the cool activities that the school will have today. Just think about all the unique foods that will be there. It causes my stomach to rumble. Ding! My two s'mores Pop-Tarts are ready. I go to grab them. Ow! Fuck! I'm able to get myself first degree burns trying to grab them. In a quick motion, I grab the pastries with my fingertips and drop them onto a plate. Breakfast time! <laughs> this mod has a curious amount of detail <laughs> put into breakfast. Uh, I finish my meal and check the clock. <clears throat> it's festival time! I grab my daily essentials and depart from my house. I arrive in the courtyard where the festival is being held. Standing here, I realize something. In festival days, we're not required to wear our uniforms. I look around and see people in t-shirts, jeans, hoodies, leggings, etc. They look down at my blazer and begin to feel very stupid. Hello, Tormies. I hear a voice calling me. I turn on my heel. I see Yuri and Natsuki. <coughs> it's, it's kind of funny that, um, like, we don't see MC. This is from his perspective. Um, so they could have said he was wearing anything. <laughs> but, uh... Anyway, moving on. So Yuri and Natsuki. Oh, you found me. How was your morning? It wasn't bad. You must have left before me, Natsuki. I didn't see you in Sairi's house. Well, unlike some people, I actually wake up early. Hey, I did wake up early. I was just busy eating breakfast. And putting your school uniform on? <laughs> yeah, I forgot it's not required today. I, I guess it's better than you wearing a kimono. <laughs> mm. Turn bright red and look at Yuri. I, I'm sorry, I thought it was funny. <sighs> I'm never going to live that down now, am I? What do you mean, live it down? Hey, you rocked that kimono, MC. <laughs> we established that. <laughs> anyway. Uh, no. The girls continue to laugh at my expense. All right, that's enough. So where are we going first? 
I don't know, Yuri, what do you want to do? Uh, I'm not good with decisions. Of course. Well, since both of you are useless, hey, I'll decide where we go. Follow me. At the other end of the courtyard, they have put up different stalls with games. Nowski points to a particular stall. There. I follow her finger. Dunk tank? Except closer to a E. You want to get in a dunk tank? Not me, dummy. You. Yeah, that's not going to happen. Why? You scared of getting wet? More so, I just prefer to stay dry. You're no fun. You're a large, vo a large voice from behind us. Hey, yo, ma. Hey, yo, ma. How do you say that? Hey, whatever, moving on. <laughs> we turned to see a small group of boys looking in our direction. That one who seemed to have shouted at us looks like the definition of asshole. Sleeve the shirt to show off his biceps, low hanging jeans, gold chains, which are probably fake. Go with the bus. Why don't you get in the tank? Another guy sneakers in the group. I wouldn't mind seeing her in a wet t shirt. It doesn't take long for me to realize what, that they're talking about Yuri. The douche group continues to laugh between themselves. Eh, I can't believe those assholes. Tormies, aren't you going to do something? You can't just let them talk to Yuri like that, right, Yuri? Yuri? Mm. Yuri's completely stricken from the current situation. Yuri, are you alright? Can we please go? What? And let them get away with it? Look at them. Turn back to the group of guys who are still watching us. Well, are you going to give us a show or not? Dremies, do something! Look at Nowski's rage filled face, and to Yuri's petrified expression, then to the douchebags carelessly laughing at us. I'd like to give them peace of my mind, but perhaps I should let it go. Do I stand up for Yuri? Would you even want me to stand up? What do I do? And here, uh, I believe I already have a save game for that too. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ignore them because, like, what, what would you even say to them? I mean, like, what's the point? It, it's just, I mean, for me, like, generally speaking, I have. Uh, I, I kind of have the attitude of, it's like, you know, life's too short to pick pointless fights. Like, they're, they're just, like, they're, they're obviously, they're doing it because they want a reaction. So if you give them a reaction, they win. Like, it's, it's, it doesn't serve any purpose. It doesn't, it isn't going to make you feel better. It's certainly not going to make Yuri feel better. So, yeah, I'm, I'm ignoring them. <clears throat> I'd rather not get my lights knocked out today. Tormies, I really don't think this is a good idea. Yuri, stop worrying. You need to stand up for yourself. As your friend, I will not stand idly by as you get harassed by some assholes. She's right, Natsuki. Huh? Give them a reaction. It's what they want. Ignore them and then they'll just move on. You can't give them what they want because they'll win. Eh, fine. You're right. I know. You give them each a warm smile. Thank you, Tormuse. That's very big of you. Come on, baby. You're not even going to at least show us what's under that sweater? <laughs> I'm going over there. No, you're not. But, no. Fine. Well, if we're not going to beat them up, then why are we still standing here? She has a point. We should get out of here. There's still plenty more of the festival to see. I'm glad that situation was handled. I hear rumbling coming from Natsuki's stomach. Hungry? I'm always hungry. What about you, Yuri? I suppose I could eat something. It's nice to see you haven't changed at all, Yuri. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Anyways. Anyway. Huh? You said anyways. The correct term is anyway. Anyways, an adverb thusly cannot be plural. Shut up, nerd. <laughs> Not here to learn. I'm hungry. Let's, go, let's get something to eat. Well, that didn't go how I wanted to. Okay. <laughs> we go back to the other side of the courtyard. So many choices. I pan my view to the, all the different stalls. From noodles to pizza to candy to squid. What are you two, th you two thinking? turn my head to see that both of them are fixated by a certain stall. They both look like they're in a daze, their mouths agape. Following their gaze, I see what they are being entranced by. Chocolate? Let's go there. I agree. I too would like to see what the stall has. Alright, let's go. We make our way to the stall. A girl with red braids and thick glasses is a stall. It's, that'll be Amy, <clears throat> of course. Hello, Amy. Girl's name must be Amy. <laughs> the way Natsuki greets her makes it sound like they're arch rivals. <clears throat> Not sure why they don't use the, the the Amy sprite, which is in the community um, community art folder. Oh well. Hey Natsuki, it's good to see you again. Amy's tone is the complete opposite. The way she greets her makes it seem like they're lifelong friends. What have you been up to? I've been spending a lot of time volunteering at the animal shelter recently. 
What a nice girl. Oscar leans into my ear. I freaking hate her. What? Why? You see anything you like? Noski never answers my question, yet Yuri and Noski hover over the assortment of chocolates like a predator over its prey. They start to point out all the things they like. I prefer some real food. Hey, do you guys mind if I leave you here while I grab some pizza? Yeah, whatever. Okay then. I take my leave. Two slices, please. Man, my pepperoni pizza. I drool over my greasy covered plate. Pizza time. Now let me return to the girls. Whilst walking back, I'm intercepted by a familiar face. Hi, a toy muse. Oh, it looks like Monica forgot to wear <laughs> She doesn't have to wear her uniform, too. <clears throat> or maybe that's the only sprite for her that was probably in the game. Again, community art folder. There, there are other outfits for her. <clears throat> oh, well. <clears throat> and here, I thought I would have a good day. What do you want? <laughs> we haven't seen each other in weeks, and that's how you greet me. Instead of responding, I take a bite of my pizza, leaving an awkward silence. <laughs> Power move. <laughs> eating the pizza she's <laughs> waiting for a response I don't know <laughs> moving on we didn't really leave on good terms mm-hmm <laughs> Tormies please can we forget about the past for one second <clears throat> <sighs> fine I want to know what happened to Sairi Sairi guess despite what happened Monica and Sairi still remained friends Monica's probably worried about it just, uh, just as much as I am <clears throat> Even if I don't really like Monica, I'd feel wrong if I didn't inform her about Sairi. She's in the hospital. Comatose. I send the words out with a shaky voice. Monica looks devastated, but she doesn't say anything. But she does love her friends, after all. I'm sorry. It's fine. You can't change what happened. Monica straightens up and returns to her usual poised persona. Thank you for telling me, Toy Muse. I have to go now. Go where? Get new members for the club. New members? The school board said this festival is my last chance to get members of the, or the literature club. It will be cancelled. I should feel that bad, but I don't. <laughs> Have I become numb to emotion? <clears throat> I get, sort of get the feeling that uh, the author, Noah, does, doesn't like Monica much here. <laughs> uh, it's Monica's fault the club was disbanded in the first place. Or was it me who started the pop by joining? Don't think anything left to say. Monica walks off. That was a random interaction. Out of everyone in the school, I had to run into Monica. I walk over to where the, I left the girls with my now cold pizza. It's about time. It's beginning to think you ditched us. Nasuki, Tormis would never do that. The pizza line was long. Look at what they're holding. They each have bags full of sweets in their hands. That's a lot of chocolate. The stand begins to get more and more crowded as students gather around. Welcome, everyone. Know that all proceeds will be given to charities to help sick animals in need. What a nice girl. Eh. <laughs> Look at her. Disgusting. I still don't know what Noski's vendetta against Amy is, but perhaps it's best if I don't ask. <clears throat> Once again, we walk back to the other end of the courtyard to find a table to sit at. In the amount of time it took to walk over here, I have already consumed my triangular meal. We finally arrive at a table under the big cherry blossom. Once again, this tree reminds me of Toriuri. <laughs> Why does that make me laugh? I wonder if it'll ever grow this big. Natsuki and Yuri begin to dig into their bags of chocolate. You know, eating all that sugar will only lead to you crashing later. Oh, don't worry, Tormies. I'm only going to eat a little bit. Yeah, right. This chocolate will have little effect on me. Sugar doesn't actually make you crash. Where are your sources on that? Dude, just trust me. I dismiss Natsuki's unfactual logic. I notice a sheet of paper sticking out of Natsuki's small purse. What's that? Eh, a poem. May I see it? No. Why not? You... Wouldn't like it. That's what you said last time. Eh, fine. She gestures at me as, as to say, I don't care what you do. I pull the sheet out of the, her bag and unfold it. Yuri slides next to me to read it too. Time. The past is a cold place. A time I try to forget. An abyss that stares into my face. A place I can't run from just yet. <laughs> as if she's getting metaphorical. The present is an odd place. The place for all who live. A location lost in space. A time with nothing to give. The future is a dangerous place, a period where dreams come alive. Arriving soon with no time to brace, only if you're able to survive. Time is in the palm of my hand, but there's things I can't understand. The only thing I know is keep your hopes up high and your head down low. <laughs> Looks like, like Natsuki's poem style hasn't changed too much. If you say so. Still simple yet impactful, this poem seems to be about the future. Do you two have plans for after school? 
Eh, uh, somewhat. That's fine, I don't really have a plan either. The future is scary to think about, yet everyone tells you to always think about it. And people tell you, don't worry about it. But if you don't worry, how will you be ready? And time just ticks away, and the future marches ever closer, relentlessly, and... Gary, calm down. I'll probably just go to college like everyone else. Any ideas for the major? Cooking, obviously. I'm good at it. That's what I enjoy doing. If I can make a job out of doing what I love, then that would be a dream. Good to see Noski has the luxury of having her life in order. I haven't the slightest clue as to what I want to do. What about you, Yuri? What do you want to do? I wish I could do something I love. Well, what do you like to do? Uh, reading. Yuri mumbles her words as if she's embarrassed about her hobbies. Why don't you write a book? Become an author. An author? That'd be awesome, Yuri. You could get famous. Famous? I just don't think I want that. What if we used a pen name? Writer under an alias without actually disclosing who you are. You're a fantastic writer, Yuri. You're probably the best writer I know. It'd be awful for you to waste such potential. Plus, nowadays, thanks to the internet, it's super easy to publicize your work. I, I suppose you're right. Of course I am. I begin to slowly relax in my seat. Our future isn't exactly a comfortable topic to talk about, but it's so important. What do we do after we graduate? Where do we go? Will Yuri and I still be together? I don't know what the future holds for us, but if that future involves her, I'll be happy. <clears throat> uh, the afternoon sky. Yeah, it, it's um, interesting that he uh, seems to acknowledge the possibility that they might not uh, stay together. He, uh, is after all the, um, <clears throat> all the, you have to be together forever until death to part stuff from previous uh, chapters. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> The afternoon sky begins to take hold as the girls talk about different things. Eventually, Natsuki stands up. I have to start heading home now. It was nice spending the day with you. It was nice hanging out with you too, Natsuki. Ah, that H word again. <laughs> <coughs> eh, gross. Hoo <laughs> hoo. We all share a laugh. The only laugh you can have when surrounded by friends. Aww. A laugh that takes the moment and cases it into your head forever. It's a memory you wish you could hold on to for just a little bit longer. But we end up saying our final goodbyes, and Natsuki soon disappears through the crowd. Now it's just Yuri and me, under the shaded cherry blossom in the center of the courtyard. I had a lot of fun today, Tormuse. I did too. The orange sun shines its light straight into my face. The large horde of students has also diminished to just a few groups as well. Shall we walk home? Yuri flashes a smile brighter the, s brighter the sun. Brighter, I think it's supposed to say brighter than the sun in my face. Um, let's go. <clears throat> I guess this is where we part ways. Yes, I prefer to get a good night's sleep after today. I understand. I just want to get to bed too. I'll see you tomorrow. I have my follow-up appointment tomorrow, correct? Yeah, Dr. Langton just wants to see how you're holding up with the medication. Of course. You always, always seem nervous around Dr. Langton, but she's been doing great. I don't believe she's even shown any noticeable side effects. Good night, Tormies. She lays a quick kiss upon my lips before turning and vanishing into her home. Good night. The last remaining bit of sunlight has left me. I walk alone on the lamp-lit sidewalk. I gaze into the ray of lights in the dark and watch the dust float through them. My feet stop in their tracks in front of Sayuri's house. There's an emptiness in my gut. Sayuri's bedroom light is on. Part of me imagines that Sayuri... Maybe she woke up and returned home safely. <sighs> I blow out and watch my breath pour mist in the cool nighttime air. <clears throat> So it's it's um so it's cold enough that you can see his breath in front of her. Didn't didn't stop uh <clears throat> didn't stop, stop Natsuki from going around in a t shirt and uh, skirt. <clears throat> but um I mean they don't look like they're dressed for, for winter weather, but oh well. <laughs> the last remaining lights in Sairi's house all suddenly flick off. Now I simply stand in the dark, neat the halo of a street lamp. I let it aside once more. Well, I don't want to catch a cold out here now. I begin to step inside my house and go to sleep. Hmm. <clears throat> a, light glow sh a, a light glow shines onto my eyes, waking me up. I tighten my eyes before finally opening them. I extend my arm to grab my phone and bring it to my face. Sun Saturday, 9.42am. I look out the window. 
appears to be some heavy cloud formations growing. Perhaps a storm is coming. I climb out of bed and start my day. <clears throat> I'm going to make breakfast now. I flop down onto my living room couch. For a while, I just sit in the serenity of my empty house. Always empty. Bzz. Huh? Turn my phone into my field of view. It's Yuri. Is it okay if I start heading towards your house? Type out a, type out a response. Yeah, that's fine. My arm falls limp again as I sit lifeless on my couch. I feel so bored today. Hopefully Yuri shows up soon to save me from this void of my living room. <clears throat> the next 20 minutes, I just sit on my couch, staring at the ceiling. Yeah, it's not just the breakfast. There are <clears throat> lots of, lots of uh, detail about events um, separate from the actual plot. <clears throat> it's just um, sitting around doing stuff, or, or not doing stuff. <laughs> So they hear a bell. That must be Yuri. I heave myself up on, off the couch and make my way to the door. <clears throat> I just... No! I gently open the door. Yuri appears on the other side. Hey, what's up? Good afternoon, Toy Muse. Are you ready to go? Let me make sure I got my wallet. I slap my ass as hard as I can. Yeah, I got everything. Let's go. <laughs> Yuri and I step outside and head towards the psychiatrist's office. <coughs> <coughs> Hello, you two. Welcome back. He speaks in his usual upbeat tone. Not exactly the kind of voice you'd expect you'd imagine a psychiatrist to have. Shake his hand like always. He then offers to hand his hand to Yuri, and they shake as well. Well, shall we get started then? He gently op opens the door to his office and gestures for us to step inside. We walk over to the couch and take our seats. Naturally, Dr. Langton sits in the chair opposite to us. So, as you know, this is simply a checkup. I just want to make sure the medication is working, everything is fine, etc. Okay. Yuri fidgets in her seat. That's odd. After all this time, I'd figure she'd be used to you, Dr. Langton, by now. I guess we should start with the most blatant question. Have you been self-harming at all, Yuri? She shakes her head. Uh, no. That's good. He scribbles in his notebook, and I believe school has started back up again, is that correct? Yuri nods. Yes. And how was the first week back? It was fine. He continues to stare at Yuri. Just fine. Yes. Something feels off here. Even with the exception of Yuri being an introvert, her one-word replies seem unnatural. It's like she's forcing the word, words out. Dr. Langton is, lean, is leaned over his knees, examining Yuri. <coughs> hmm. uh, I guess it's, I get it, the dialectical thing again. <laughs> um, I, I mean, I would have, I would have said it is, is leaning over his knees, but whatever. <laughs> After a short time, he leans back into his chair. He, he looks down at his notes, readjusts his glasses, then looks back up at Yuri. Are the kids at school treating you okay, Yuri? W what do you mean? I'm just asking how the students behave. Are they nice, cheerful, are you making friends? That kind of stuff. They're okay. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Dr. Langton stares at Yuri for a few more seconds before finally writing into his notepad. So you're not going to bring up the group of boys? Maybe it's not important. Or maybe it is. Yuri's acting weird, even by Yuri's standards. But is it really my place to say anything? I am just a bystander in their meetings, after all. But I feel the doctor's right to know. I have to speak up. Oh, I guess I don't have a choice. <laughs> uh, I already saved it there before, too. <clears throat> um, I mean, MC is invited to the meetings, so... Like it, I guess it seems reasonable for him to uh, provide his opinion. <coughs> but anyway, moving on. Hopefully Yuri doesn't resent me for bringing this up. Well, there was this one interaction yesterday. Oh, he leans over onto the edge of his seat. Oh, Yuri looks alarmed. <coughs> Yuri jerks her gaze onto me. There's fear on her face. Maybe I shouldn't have brought it up. Too late to go back na on it now, <coughs> though, as I've already opened the can of worms. It wasn't anything, really. Just a group of immature boys shutting up sanities. Dr. Langton softly bites down the tip of his pen. After a short period of thinking, he, he finally says something. <clears throat> and how did that make you feel, Yuri? Uh... I catch a glimpse of her hands trembling. She presses them into her lap in an attempt to cover it up. You can be honest with me. I won't judge or think any less of you. I was... was... angry. Embarrassed. Sad. Uh, there were so many emotions at once. It was like a point nine earthquake came and shook the very fabric of my soul, and then several equally as powerful aftershocks hit me right after. That sounds intense. Yuri takes a moment to collect her thoughts. 
Dr. Remain silent as well. But then Tormi's acted. He got us out of that horrendous situation, and I'm very thankful for that. And she clenches my hand and gives me a soft smile. I wonder if she says the same thing regardless of what, what I do in that situation. <coughs> <coughs> oh well, carry on. She clenches my hand and gives me a soft smile. Well, Dr. Lankin scans over his notes. That's good to hear. I understand school can be a challenge, and I know kids can often be brutal at times, but I th think as long as you two have each other, there's nothing that will hold you back. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know what I, I that um doesn't seem that's not I'm not gonna say it's not healthy. I mean it's 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 good to have someone you can count on, but um <clears throat> to frame it in such a way that like your well being depends on someone else, what like one particular somebody else is not that healthy. I um it's but, oh well, uh, moving on. <clears throat> I mean, especially in light of the, the all that, oh, we want to be together forever and until death series part and all that stuff from the previous uh, videos. Um, it, it just, uh, it, it's kind of like you're putting, you know, putting your, all your eggs in one basket, you know? Like, um, it's, uh, it's important, to, it's important to have, like, a number of friends to, uh, that you can confide in or turn to or whatever. Um, depending on one person is, um, yeah, it's not that healthy, it's because, like, nobody can guarantee that they'll be there for someone else 100% of the time, you know? It's, um, anyway, that's my thoughts on this stuff. Like, anyway, moving on. <clears throat> yeah, as long as you have each other, it's not a whole guy. Because it's both a huge, almost cartoon-like smile. Anyway, moving on, how's your prescription holding up? If I recall correctly, you should be requiring a new order soon, correct? He flips through some papers on his desk to reassure himself. Uh, correct. Well, the pharmacy already has the file, so you can go at your own time. Moving his arm up in a large motion, he not so casually checks his watch. Well, he then clasps his hand together. I think that's all we have for today. Any questions? Yuri and I exchange glances. No, I think we're good. Wonderful. Feel free to contact me on when you want to schedule your next appointment. With that, he begins to shuffle us out of his office. <coughs> we arrive at Yuri's house. Well, that went fairly well, I'd say. What do you think, Yuri? I think, I think this is um, we're pretty close to where I left off. Um, where where I recorded up to the previous time when it when it crashed. <coughs> um, so I, I, I I'm um. I have been criticized that I read too quickly, so I'm trying to be mindful of that. But I'm also trying to sort of speed through this because I've already—I mean, I've already read this before. Um, <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Yuri, you okay? She's been acting weird recently, or weirder than usual. In any case, I'm fine. Fine. Whenever a girl says usual says that, usually things are the complete opposite of fine. <clears throat> Not just girls, MC. And there, there are plenty of uh, plenty of guys that uh, do that too. But anyway, moving on. <clears throat> Subconsciously, begin to take steps toward her, but Yuri begins to back away like an animal caught in a cage. However, she only backs away so far, and I find myself inches from her. <clears throat> I don't know. That feels a little uncomfortable. If she's backing away from you, maybe that's a sign you shouldn't walk towards her. <laughs> oh, whatever. Yuri's only a little shorter than me, allowing us to maintain eye contact fairly easily. Even with that, she refuses to look me in the eyes. She banes, I think it's misspelled begins, to slowly open her mouth. <laughs> hi, hi, hi. Breathe, Yuri. Take a moment to collect your thoughts. <gasps> it's something she's done time and time again. Finally, she speaks up. I'm going to drop out of school. Mm. What? Drop out? She can't actually be serious. Okay, time out. Rewind. You're what? There's a tinge of annoyance in my voice. This is why I didn't want to tell you. I knew you'd be upset. Wait, how long have you been keeping this from me? Ah, darn it, MC. <coughs> this is like this is like that line about, oh, it feels like you betrayed my, our, our friendship by not telling me sooner. Ah, <sighs> doing it again. <coughs> like... Anyway, don't be a dick, MC. Moving on. 
for a while now. I feel disappointed and also a bit furious. The thought of Yuri hiding such a big decision from me hurts. Why are you just now telling me? I didn't want you to worry. Yuri, all I do is worry about you. A contorted expression grows on her face as if she just saw me kick a puppy. I didn't realize I was such a burden to you. <coughs> hmm. <clears throat> yeah, you know, for someone dealing with anxiety like Yuri, it might, might not be best to um, tell her that you worry about her all the time, but oh well. <laughs> someone you always have to think about and worry about. That's not what I meant. I hate to be a burden to you, Hermes. I didn't say that. I, because I'm just not capable of looking after myself. After all, I'm just the girl with scars along her arms. The girl with no friends, others, uh, other than words on a page. Okay, the, the, sk the skip button just grayed out. That means I'm caught up to where I was. <clears throat> well, this is all new from now on. I'm useless. No, Yuri, you're not. And explain why you feel the need to spectate my life every waking moment of the day. Don't get upset at me for the sea. For the secrets you've been hiding. <coughs> Uh-oh. Using blaming language again. <laughs> Look, now we're getting off topic. Back to my point. You can't drop out of school. Why not? You you just can't. That's not your decision to make. Regardless, it's still a bad decision. <laughs> well, this is curious. Uh, just a moment ago, or well, I mean, just earlier in this video even, MC was saying um, he can't understand why... <clears throat> uh, in fact, like a big chunk of this video is spent complaining about how pointless school is, and now, and now he's saying, "Well, it's a bad decision, but I can't explain why." <clears throat> <clears throat> like, <laughs> it's it's kind of a funny logical disconnect, really. I make I, I wonder how uh, it makes me wonder how um, aware uh, the author Noah is about that. That he's. Um, <clears throat> That he's simultaneously saying that <clears throat> no school is pointless. It's really pointless, but we have to go because of reasons. <laughs> but I don't know what the reasons are. <laughs> anyway, guys, it's still a bad decision. You just don't understand. That's the problem. You never tell me. <laughs> okay, answer me this. Why do you want to drop out? Grades are exceptional. It has nothing to do with my grades. Is this because of the boys yesterday? Yeah, probably. <laughs> I told you not to worry about them. My voice grows more irritated with each sentence. Yeah. This, I mean, this after all that line about the the point nine uh, earthquake and the sh uh, shaking her soul, like it obviously affected her pretty badly. It's that's not gonna go away if you say, oh, by the way, don't worry about it. <laughs> oh yeah. S a side note. Um, yeah, t telling people not to worry, just generally telling people what to feel, is uh, it doesn't usually help. Anyway, moving on. <clears throat> it's not just that. It's... What is it? I can't say. No, we're not keeping any more secrets from each other. Tell me what's wrong. I, I don't want to talk about it. No. Work too hard. Too, too... That should be too... Uh, too oh, it's two O's too hard to get close to her, and once again she's shutting me back out. <coughs> hmm. Damn it, Yuri! Thoughts are cloudy. I don't know what to do. I, if I let her shut herself in, she may never come back out. Just tell me what's bothering you. I, I, I can't. I feel my blood stream heating up. <laughs> oh, okay. You just see the blood stream as, as, two, uh, two word, as one word. Anyway, move on. Please stop resisting my help. Please don't do that. Yeah. Approaching her with an angry angry tone saying, God damn it, Yuri, as not a good way to get her to open up. <clears throat> Please don't do this. Do what? Help you? Listen to you. Actually take the time to find a medical professional to treat you and all your problems. Everything I do, Yuri, it's all for you. Oh wow, now you're laying a massive guilt trip on her. MC's a real winner here. <coughs> Yuri just shakes her head while trying to hold back tears. I didn't want this. You didn't want this? Of course, Yuri. Of co how could I forget? I'm just the guy who chased you down, barged into your house, and forced his way into your life unwanted. Well, you kind of did do that. 
<clears throat> MC such being such a big such a, I, I refer to him as MC because I I um and not Tormuse because Tormuse is the name that I go by and when he acts like this, he, he's being such a douche and it's like I'm like, I disown you. I <laughs> I um I'm embarrassed that you share my name. <clears throat> Anyway, it's not like that. And what is it like? I, I don't know. But he's not saying that. Surely you have to know something. This is going nowhere. My hands are shaking as if I drank a liter of an energy drink. I can feel the steam rising out of my ears. I have to keep, have to keep pressing forward. Again, this have to. This is what she did when I first fa found her cutting her wrist. She pushed me away as far as she could. I can't let her ruin her life. I catch a glimpse of myself in the window. With my enraged reflection stares back at me. What I see is disgusting. Okay, maybe you'll have a bit of self-awareness now. <clears throat> Here I am yelling at the girl I, th I thought I loved. Oh. Well, that's unfortunate wording. <clears throat> Tormius. Here his voice snaps me out of my daze. She's no longer yelling. In fact, her voice is so quiet it's barely audible. I don't want to see us like this. I, I love you. Ugh. I've heard that word so many times the past several months. I've heard it come from Yuri's lips. My lips, my best friend's lips. I feel it's been said so much it's lost all meaning. Oh, for goodness sake. MC. <clears throat> Crossing that line between being a dick and being an asshole. <clears throat> if you really loved me, you would tell me what's wrong. Sorry, uh, that's that's some toxic manipulative bullshit there. Um, MC is really being an asshole here. Um, okay, moving on. If you trusted me, you would give me time. Yeah, I think that's fair. Considering, like, we know very, very, very well that Yuri's not a very talkative person. She doesn't um, open up easily. Like. Have some freaking patience, dude. <coughs> like if you um, <coughs> you if you supposedly love her, then um, try to be a little more understanding. This is obviously something that's difficult for her. Like, come on. <coughs> like, if it's really that difficult to be patient and understanding with her, then you gotta take a step back and reassess your expectations of the relationship. Anyway, moving on. Am I, am I giving too much commentary? Maybe I am. Um, I don't know. I, I mean, I, I don't know who watches my videos when I, when I do these things. I, I kind of figure <clears throat> if... Um, I kind of figure that if someone wants to play it, they'll just play it. Like they'll just play the mod. If if they uh, if they're watching me do a recording, they probably want to hear my commentary. I don't know. Maybe I'm doing it too much. Someone someone recently said that I do it too much. <coughs> Although they were specifically saying that I was getting too pol uh, too quote unquote political. <coughs> Sorry, my voice is really. <coughs> I'm gonna have to end this recording soon because um my <coughs> throat's getting really rough for some reason. <clears throat> yeah, um, I think after this scene, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, or after this in-game day, I'm gonna, I have to, um, finish this recording. Anyway, <coughs> moving on, I hope, <coughs> I hope MC doesn't dig himself for a deeper here. I don't know who to trust anymore. Oh, great. <clears throat> Just lovely. Round of applause for MC the asshole. <clears throat> Anyway, <coughs> I can taste the venom dripping from my teeth. It's bitter yet satisfying to feel spit out, uh, feel spit out my uh, out my mouth. A tear glides down Yuri's face. Oh, the memories we made, the stories we shared, the time we've spent. 
I guess even hot love has a cold end. I look at her straight in her eyes. The windows to the soul, as she put it. I suppose they're just bittersweet memories at this point. <clears throat> Harsh. Like, I feel like a failure. After everything, I, after everything I've done, you still don't trust me. <clears throat> Yuri's retracted body only makes me feel worse. It pains me to see her like this. So why can't I stop? That's my turn for my voice to be barely audible. What? Why don't you like anyone? Why don't you like anyone? What kind of question is that? You didn't see the messages. What messages? What messages? The, the ones that everyone saw. I think to myself, last week, the boy in class decided to laugh at a long message. Two loud girls in my class, they were talking about someone in some text message. What was in the messages, though? I have to know. I look back at Yuri. She looks lifeless. But I have to make a choice. <coughs> okay. Um. <coughs> hey, you can, you can, um, I have the option of, um, pressing the assholishness into, uh, to, to greater heights. <coughs> This topic should have been dropped a while ago, or at least, or at least dealt with in a calmer manner, where you're not getting angry and shouting at her. Like, there, there were a lot of better ways to approach this, this, this issue. Um, <clears throat> I mean, it, 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 it sounds like we've finally reached a point where she's willing to talk about it. I mean, at this point, I sort of feel like, well, I might as well press it because you've already gone this far to the point that you're saying you thought you loved her, quote unquote. Um, it sounds like you're, it makes it sound like you're breaking up or something, like, for, for someone, for someone who, who, um, self-harms when, you, you know she self-harms when she's stressed, and yet you're, like, actively stressing her out, like, like, get a grip on yourself, dude, like, your problems aren't as bad. <laughs> For that matter, um, <clears throat> the that whole notion of um, um, MC assuming that Yuri owes him something because he did nice things for her. It, it's, it's you know again, it it's a toxic and manipulative attitude. It's, it's, um, what's the word? There's, there's a word, there's a term for it. Um, male entitlement. It, it's, it's pretty common for, for men, like, you know, when they're, you know, to, to have an expectation that, uh, that if they do a nice thing for a girl, the girl must do something for them in return. <coughs> and, Act like it's some kind of injustice if she doesn't uh, it doesn't do something for the return, and it's it's just kind of bullshit. <laughs> um, anyway, um, I'm gonna I'm gonna drop the topic because I mean really you should have dropped it a while ago, um, or at least like eh, whatever I'm gonna drop it. Moving on, I can't carry on. She refused to let me in. She created. A created wall around herself. I guess that's a created a wall around herself that I'm not strong enough to tear down. For the second time in the recent months, I've felt completely useless. If only there was a word to describe the emptiness I feel right now. I can't. I can't do this anymore. So he really is breaking up. <coughs> no, what do you mean? It's like glass here. Right? Sometimes it's better to leave it leave it broken than to hurt myself trying to pick it up. Yuri's taken aback from my statement. Her eyes begin to fill, fill like waterfalls, but tears don't fall. They crash. Go away. What? 
Go away, Choimuse. The voice is still barely audible, but there's force behind her statement. Does it... And he's being passive aggressive, too. Hmm. This is how you want it to be? Please just go. I don't say anything after that. There's nothing left to say. I stare at her for a bit longer. I, I take in her long purple hair, her woman woman like body, and her lavender eyes. Lavender eyes that even red with tears still pierce straight to my soul. I turn on my heel and leave her house. <coughs> well, that could have gone better. <laughs> <clears throat> when I said drop it, I meant like drop the subject, not drop the relationship. <laughs> but whatever, moving on. <clears throat> For once, it's not the morning sunshine that wakes me up. This time I'm shocked awake by the sound of crashing thunder. There's a storm screaming outside. But the sun, I have no idea whether it's morning or afternoon. Um... I did say I was going to end this up the next day, so um, seems like a good time to save it. Um, yeah, so um, to wrap things up, yeah, uh, obviously, as I said, uh, like really irritated with my like avatar in this game, Twermuse, being such a massive asshole. Um, <coughs> Um, it's, yeah, it's making it difficult to, to, to get to push through for me, um, but um, it's, um, what am I saying here? Um, I, I, I have a feeling maybe I'm heading towards a bad ending here, um, but we'll see how this goes, I guess. The next, um, um, next time. Um, I have a feeling that if I'd confronted the boys earlier, that may, maybe that, like Yuri implied that, that uh, some message is being sent around, maybe it's being sent by the mysterious texter, wh whoever they are. Um, <coughs> and um, um, what, am I, what am I trying to say? Uh, maybe that would have changed how things played out. Um, Maybe I was supposed to press on in that argument um, and uh, find out what the deal is with those messages she alluded to. Um, I don't know. Um, it's entirely possible that uh, this next scene is going to be like bad ending uh, of some kind. Um, I guess we'll find out next time. Maybe maybe I'll reload it to save and. Uh, find out uh, what my other options are um, yeah um, so uh, yeah so that's it I guess um, until next time <laughs>